dispatch. This is Luke, bus 125. Driving, I've got a lot of smoke in the cab. We're gonna be pulling over, we're gonna be doing a bus evacuation. Cover your mouths, guys. We're we'll pulling over. School buses are one of the most widely used vehicles in the world. Certain types of school buses can carry over 80 passengers. When they are being assembled, safety features are the top priority for school bus manufacturers. Keep in mind that school bus drivers go through a rigorous training process. And their passengers are you, one of over 26 million kids that ride the school bus on a daily basis. I'm sure if I could see your faces, they would look super excited. Don't worry, we're going to keep this video short and sweet. We understand that you have schoolwork, Fortnite games, and TikTok videos to watch. But at the same time, we understand the importance of teaching all students about safety tips that can ultimately save your life or the life of a fellow student. I know, I know it may sound a bit dramatic. However, just bear with us, because the information you learn in this video can make all the difference in the world. And if you haven't guessed yet, the video is going to cover school bus evacuations. The thought is pretty simple, right? If there is an emergency, such as a fire on board, you will need to get off the bus quickly. But think about this. Which door would you use to get out? What if the fire is at the front of the bus? What if it were at the back? What if the bus is packed full of kids? There are a lot of things to think about during a school bus evacuation. So we would like you to keep this in mind while you're watching this video. Think of all the scenarios that could possibly take place. One other thing, use your common sense and figure out the smartest and most efficient way to get off the bus. We will cover different types of evacuations, order of evacuation, and much more. First, let's quickly cover some basics. Every school bus is equipped with items to help make the bus safer for the passengers who ride it. For instance, if a student gets a bloody nose, the driver has the items necessary to protect themselves as well as assist the student with the bloody nose. One of the onboard items you should know about is the first aid kit. First aid kits are typically stored in front of the bus near the driver's compartment. They are usually placed in an area of the bus to make them easily accessible in the case of an emergency. Inside the first aid kit, there are bandages, gauze, gloves, and numerous other items that can be used for cuts, scrapes, and or burns. 